How to crochet the flying shell stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Mountain Metal Wool, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Laramie line in the color Marigold. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, double crochet, double crochet, two together. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain in multiples of four plus one, and we'll add an additional stitch for the base chain. Row one. Beginning on the right side of our work, we're going to work what's called a flying shell, which will be one single crochet that we'll do into the second chain from our hook. Then we'll do a chain three. And then we're gonna do three double crochets all into this same stitch. So again, this is going into the same stitch as our single crochet. All right, now we're gonna start our repeat by skipping the next three chains. So we've got one, two, and three. Make sure that you're not skipping this chain that's right after the one that we worked into that's gonna spread out and it's gonna kind of squish it. So we don't wanna lose it. We've got one, two, three, and we'll do a flying shell into the next chain stitch. So again, one, Let's see, make sure I'm getting that right. Yep. One, two, three. So we're gonna go do a single crochet into this next stitch here. Then we'll chain three. And then do our double crochets. All right, so we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way until we reach the last four chains in our row. All right, well, we finished our last repeat and we get to the last four chains. We're just gonna do a single crochet into the last chain stitch and then we're gonna turn our work. Row two, we're gonna begin by chaining three then we're gonna do one double crochet into the first stitch, that's this one right at the base of the chain that we just did. Okay, then we're going to start our repeat by skipping the next three stitches, that's one, two, three, and we will do a single crochet into the top of the three chain at the top here. All right, now we're going to work a V stitch into the next single crochet. So that's gonna be this one right here at the base of those three chains. And to do a V stitch, we'll do one double crochet Then we'll do a chain one and then another double crochet Like so now, we're gonna repeat this sequence until we reach the last repeat of our row. All right, so to finish our last repeat here, we're going to skip three stitches. We'll do our single crochet into the top of the three chains there. And then we're going to do two double crochets into the last single crochet. So that's this one at the bottom here. Instead of a V stitch. Okay, now we're gonna turn our work. Row three, we're gonna begin by chaining three. 
Then we're going to do three double crochets into the first stitch. That's this one right below our chain here. So there's one, two, and three. Okay, then we're going to skip the next stitch, that's this one here, and we'll do one flying shell into the next stitch, this one right here. So you'll remember we do a single crochet and then a chain three. Okay, then we're going to do three double crochets into that same stitch. Okay, so now we're going to skip the next V stitch. That's these three stitches right here. We've got the V, you can see. And we will continue our repeat all the way across. So we'll start with another flying shell. And we'll repeat this until we reach the last repeat of our row. Now to finish up row three, we're going to do our single crochet into the next single crochet here. And then we'll chain three. And then we're going to do a double crochet two together in this last double crochet here. And the top of the turn chain. Okay, so if you missed that, I did half of a double crochet, then another half, that leaves us with three loops, then we'll yarn over and draw through all three loops together. All right, so then we'll turn our work. Row four, we're gonna begin by chaining one, then we'll do a V stitch into the next single crochet. So we're gonna skip this chain over here. Single crochet is right here, we'll yarn over and do a double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet into that same stitch. That's our V-stitch. Okay, then we're going to skip three stitches. One, two, three. We'll do a single crochet into the top of the three chains there. And then we'll repeat this all the way across until the end of the row. Row five, after we've turned our work, we're gonna begin by chaining one. Then we're going to do a flying, sing, uh, flying shell into this first stitch. So we're gonna do a single crochet into the one right below and draw through. Then we'll chain three and we'll do three double crochets into that same stitch. All right, so now we are going to skip the next V-stitch. This will start our repeat. Here's our V-stitch right here. Okay, we can see the double crochets and the chain one in between. So then we'll do a flying shell into the next single crochet. So skip these, here's our next single crochet. We'll do a single crochet to begin, chain three. And then our three double crochets into that same stitch. All 
All right, so then we'll repeat this sequence all the way across until we reach our last repeat. And when we finish our last repeat, we're going to skip the next V stitch here and we'll do a single crochet into the top of our turn chain here. It's a little bit hard to see, but we just kind of want to get into this last chain at the edge. Okay, and then we can turn our work. So we're going to repeat rows two through five until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you crochet the flying shell stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newstitchaday.com slash VIP.